Hi. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, reflections in two dimensions. And um, this is a certain type of linear transformation. So we've got our xy plane. And uh, what we do is we, uh, we reflect about an axis that passes through the origin. So that can be any axis. So I'll just draw one here. So if you take a point xy, plane, the reflection of the point about this axis is just going to be point down here, which I'll call x prime y prime. So it lies the same distance from the axis on the other side. So that's um, geometrically what a reflection is. Um, I'm only going to talk about four different types of reflections. So I drew an arbitrary axis here, but um, the four types of reflections I'm going to talk about are reflections about the x-axis, reflections about the y-axis, and then reflections about these diagonal axes. So we have the line y equals x and the line y equals minus x. Okay. So each of these has a matrix representation. And uh, the matrix representation for um, the reflection about the x-axis, I'll call that mx, is just 1, 0, 0, minus 1. So what that does is if you multiply mx by xy, so the coordinates of a point that you're reflecting about, you just get x minus 1. So What's going to happen is if you take a point xy here in the plane and you flex it about the x-axis, the x-coordinate stays the same, but the y-coordinate gets negated. So that's, um, that's mx. And now my is similar. My is just negative 1, 0, 0, 1. So what that is going to do is it's going to negate the x-coordinate and leave the y-coordinate. So if you take my of x, y, you get the point over here, negative x, y. Okay? All right. So then there's two others I'm going to talk about. Um, there's, there's a little reflection about the line y equals x, and I'll call that mxy. And what that looks like is 0, 1, 1, 0. So what my of xy is going to give you is yx. So that just swaps the roles of x and y. So you can see what mxy is going to do. I'm going to take this point xy and reflect it about the diagonal axis to the point yx. Okay, and then the last one I'm going to talk about is mx, what I'll call mx minus y. That's reflection about the line y equals minus x. That's probably the most complicated of these. But this is 0 minus 1 minus 1 is 0. So if you take m x comma minus y of x y, you get minus y minus x. So that's going to be, on this picture, that's going to be um, down here. So anyway, those are the four uh, basic rotations um, matrices. 